10 years ago, we all thought that by this time, we'd be getting around by way of flying taxis. Okay, maybe that was just me, but today we're a step closer to a realistic solution for urban air travel. This week, the Volocopter Air Taxi completed its first flight in an urban setting. Now, if you're not familiar, Volocopter is an all-electric, 18-rotor unmanned flying vehicle. This happened in Germany, in the city of Stuttgart, as part of the Vision Smart City event. The flight only lasted a few minutes, and the Volocopter didn't actually go anywhere. It just hovered above a football field near the Mercedes-Benz Museum. But the people watching did get a sense of just how much noise these things would make if they were flying around the city. Volocopter is backed by Daimler, which of course owns Mercedes-Benz. Now, this wasn't the aircraft's first flight. We've seen plenty of demonstrations over the last couple years. Just a few weeks ago, it became the first vehicle of its type to take off from an international airport. That was in Helsinki. Though it's worth pointing out, there was a pilot during that flight. The company wanted to show that its vehicle could be integrated into an airport's air traffic management system. But this latest demonstration may be a bigger deal for you and I. The goal was to show that the Volocopter can safely move around densely populated urban areas. Now again, it didn't really go anywhere. So Volocopter still has a lot to prove. But the company's CEO did say he feels that they're, quote, really close to bringing the technology to market. The company's plan is to build a network of transport hubs it calls Voloports on tall buildings in cities around the world. Volocopter says a single point-to-point -point connection could transport up to 10,000 people a day. The first Voloport is planned for Singapore, where the company hopes to kick off test flights by the end of the year. Of course, Volocopter isn't the only dog in this race. Remember this? This is Bell's Nexus concept that got all the attention at CES this year. Bell is one of several companies that have partnered with Uber to launch an on-demand air taxi service called Uber Elevate. Now, we haven't heard much on the Nexus since CES, but Bell has said it wants to begin testing by 2023. Then, of course, there's Google founder Larry Page's startup, Kitty Hawk. They make these personal flying vehicles. Kitty Hawk announced a partnership with Boeing a few months ago to develop Cora, a semi-autonomous flying taxi. And the list goes on and on and on. In fact, the Vertical Flight Society just reported that there are now 200 vertical takeoff and landing vehicles in development. Okay, I've said this before, we're still a ways off from flying over gridlock to get to work on time, particularly because as of right now, there's a lot of regulatory red tape to clear. There's no clear answer as to how the FAA is going to regulate air taxis and what's going to be legal. But one thing is clear, with all the money and innovation that's being poured into this, they are coming. So what do you think? Which one of these companies will be the first to hit the mark? Let us know in the comments. And to learn more about the Bell Nexus, click here. That's gonna do it for this week. I'm Andy Altman. I'll see you in the future.